Okay, guys, um, we're back with another seven-day roguelike from 2011. Let me turn it down in my ears. I hope you can hear the music. It's kind of moody and eerie, um, but I don't want it drowning me out, so I've kind of done some guesswork to make that happen. Um, what can I tell you about this before we dive in? Um, specifically, uh, this is a roguelike game written seven days for the 7 DRL of 2011, presented by Nigel McBride, who handled the music, the graphics the design, the sound effects, and the writing, and Ralph Verstegen, programming, additional resources, and design. Ralph we have encountered before. I cannot recall uh, what what roguelike we saw of his, but we have definitely seen a Ralph Verstegen roguelike at some point in our travels, whether that was a one kilobyte roguelike or a seven-day roguelike, likely the latter. Um, I don't know. Uh, setting based on Jonathan Tweet's Omega World. We'll come back to that. Additional help and graphics by Lisa Verstegen, built on top of precise permissive field of view algorithm by Aaron McDonald. A tiny part of Gumworld 2 by Gumbum. Python by True Hackers, Pi Game, etc. Um, one thing I do want to tell you about is um, this game was written in Python. It provides an executable. Good for you. That's awesome. Um, it specifically says if you're running on Windows, run the executable. If you're playing on something else, run Python main.py. Um, the executable did not work for me. It fires up and then it gives me an error message. I'm assuming that's a symptom of what Windows has become since this game was released. And I say that with seeming disdain in my voice, and I don't mean that, but I wish Windows had maintained backwards compatibility with everything that came before it. We should be able to win run Windows 3.x games on Windows, if you, if you ask me. But I ain't fucking Bill Gates, so what am I going to do about it? Um... But the Python version does work, so if you have this and you try running the executable and it doesn't work for you, run it via Python. I'll include a link to where you can find it. For me, that was the archive RL. It's the only place I could find it. Let's dive in. Let's go to the game. Um, if I can find my window that has the game, this would be it, right? There it is. Okay. Let me make sure it is recording properly. Let me turn the music up a tiny bit in my ears because now I hear nothing. And if there's a sound effect that is valid and important, I'll miss it. All right, there we go. Let me read this. Long after civilization stopped counting the years, life began to repopulate the barren wastes. Small groups of people to reform communities and cities, slowly piecing together their history. They began to rebuild and re... Utilize? I'm not sure that's how you spell reutilize or not. I think it might have been a Z, but maybe I'm wrong. Their old forgotten technologies that was until the others began to appear. Shambling from the deserts and ruins, great hulking shapes began to appear, with the bodies of men and the faces of animals. These creatures were a fearsome sight, but were less of a horror than that which followed them. Twisted and gnarled men with multiple faces, arms, pincers, claws, eyes. At first there was peace, but then the machines came, bringing death and destruction with them, seeking out all of the mutated life. At first there was peace. That doesn't sound like peace at all. It sounds like things went from shit to shittier to shittier to shittiest. The pure strain humans, realizing, I'm pretty sure that's a Z, that they could not survive with the mutants, forced them out of their communities. Now, hostility is rife. No one can be trusted. The machines are everywhere. Your settlement has sent you to the ancient facility in an attempt to secure food, technology, and hope. You have to be called to brave the... You, you have... You have be called to brave the depths of this bunker and reach the end of it, where it has been said that the ultimate technology is housed. All right, let's um, let me go into the actual game window like a boss. Here we go, and hit enter. There we go. Look at that nice little fade out. So here's one thing I want to mention. He mentioned it's, it's based on Omega World. Let me let me gulp some coffee before my throat splits in two and splatters blood onto the microphone here. My throat's just very dry. Um, it said it's based on Omega World. I don't know what Omega World is, but I do know what Gamma World is. And this is Gamma World, man. Pure Strain Humans, the aftermath of the, of the war. Pure Strain Human, mutants. I mean, I, I'm, I'm guessing Omega World is an, an RPG that evolved out of Gamma World. This is my guess. If you hear that sound, by the way, my wife just hopped in the shower. I noted the other day there was like a high-pitched hiss in the background of one of my uh, videos because um, she was showering. But this is like the opportunity I have to record, so I apologize if that's loud. Um, pure strain human, a hairy, mutated mammal. Okay, let's see what we get here. 
Pure strain humans have no hereditary mutations. While this, seem, while this means many of the potential benefits are absent, they have a natural inclination towards relic technology. Give me half a second. Three. Mutated mammal. Mutated from mammals, the Harries have excellent dexterity and constitution. They are constantly hungry due to their high metabolism. Dexterity plus one, psi minus one, constitution plus one. Scaly, the mutated reptile. Mutated from reptiles, the scalies have excellent strength. They have a poor understanding of social concepts and usually have poor respiratory systems. Psi minus one, strength plus one. Or a clicky, a mutated insect. These humanoid insects have very poor social skills, usually live nomadic lives. Living, sorry. When needed, they will cooperate with other creatures. They have a highly developed immune system, but usually have crude hands. They are often believed to be too stupid to be treacherous. They look fucking shitty, but let's play one. Um, <laughs> we can play a human in any RPG. Um, lizard Man. These are in plenty of RPGs, including my own. I mean, a hairy, a mutated mammal, not necessarily, but I don't. I, I can't think of a game offhand we've played on this channel yet where we've specifically played an insect. There will be some. I know that for a fact. But I can't think of one just now. Let's be a motherfucking clicky. Alright, here we go. Some pretty sweet graphics. You become self-aware. You feel threatened with imminent death. Um, Alright, let me move this somewhere where I can see things. Okay. Um, as always, the size of my screen makes it difficult to position this and let you and, and see what's going on. The window is not huge. It's decent size. It's probably like 800 by 600 is my guess. But I have a, I have a 4K monitor running in 1080p, so it's still um, smallish. I have hit points 19 out of 19, strength 14, dexterity 10, constitution 19, side 7, armor class 10. Let's see what we can do for the question mark. No, let's try H for help. Yup. Help. Let me let me put this in a different background because I have I'm running this window atop my OBS Studios window and it's like I'm getting multiple views. Let me do the usual. Um, give me half a second. I apologize. One day, this is a promise. One day I'll I'll, I'll be prepared, and on that day we'll celebrate. It will be a feast. All right, making myself a nice black screen, guys. And we're zooming in on this. What's going on? All right, opening this, there we go. Now I can see things better, okay. R is wait a turn, or period, maybe. F, fire a weapon, P, psychic attack, H, question mark, the screen, uh, question mark didn't seem to work unless you need to not press shift. G, comma, or G or comma, pick up item, M, show messages, I, inventory, Q, quit. Equip, use, and drop items from the inventory. Let's hit escape to get out of this. That worked. Let me try question mark again. That does not work, but no. Question mark just don't, just pure, pure strain don't work. Unless you try shift two when he's using like a really old keyboard. Is that where the question mark ever was? Maybe not. All right. Let's try I for inventory. You are carrying nothing. All right. So our mission in theory is to find food and technology and shit to um, bring to people. What do we think we have here? Like, what are we looking at? What is that little checkerboard thing to the south? Look, I don't know. Let's go south and check out that checkerboard. Is my number pad gonna work? Oh, my number pad's not plugged in. I had my game pad plugged in for when I was testing, um... Stop the Saturnians yesterday. Okay. Uh, number pad is plugged in again. And the number lock is on, and it still doesn't work. Did he mention what you use? H. Help. He doesn't mention what you use here. Let's try the arrow keys? Well, let's try, let's try H, J, K, L... Crap, crap. No H is help. Alright, we're gonna try the arrow keys. Alright, that works. I guess four directional movement? I'm not seeing a way to do otherwise. Let's try the number pad one more time in desperation. Oh, wait, number pad's working now. Don't put your number lock on. Um, what is here? Let's try comma. Nothing. Try G. Nothing. Oh, there's nothing to pick up here. Comma does not work either. There was a lot of promised controls that just don't work. This must have been a, a science facility long ago. So long ago that they hadn't yet invented periods to finish that sentence. G, forget. Nope. Um, are we going to be able to identify anything? It's cool, cool looking graphics. Cool music as well, for that matter. I don't know what these things are. Like, What, what, what are we looking for? What do you think? There's a monster, maybe? 
It looks like a two-headed dude. Let's avoid the two-headed dude. One second, Kiri wants out. Come here, Kibbs. Exit. Alright. Uh, diagonal still don't work, so you're just as well off with the, um... With the keypad. Um, or, or the keyboard with the, um... Four-directional movement. Arrows, that's the word I'm looking for. I'm gonna guess a staircase down into... Oh, there's a fucking giant rabbit. It's like Knight of the Lepus. A uh, nice smooth movement as well when you go from like one um, square to another. I like that little sliding effect. Should we deal with it before? Oh, there's something we can pick up. You hit the Zwikutis with your bare forearms. The Zwikutis takes one damage. And vice versa. Um, where did I kill by something with a crazy name? A club. Let's get that. Um, let's go to inventory. Let's hit enter, maybe? U is use. You grasp the club in your forearms. In my forearms? The fuck's wrong with me? Use it in your hands, idiot. Um, is it equipped? Yeah, it's equipped. That's what that means. Alright. Maybe I don't have hands. I'm an insect, after all. Again, I'm gonna guess there's a staircase down, but maybe not. Maybe there's just this one giant arena where we just kill things. Who knows? Let's try using here. You. No? You hear some muffled grunts. The fuck is that? It's a flying octopus. It's a fucking spaghetti god coming for us. Let's have... Well, we're not gonna be able to avoid it. Let's hit it with a club. You whacked the land octopus with a club. You missed. It's missing me, too. Jesus Christ. I did one damage to it. It did... Yeah, let's, try, let's try a psychic attack. How do we do that again? P. P for psychic. In which direction? West. The land octopus howls in mental agony. The land octopus takes three damage. Right, let's try it again, because it worked. Uh, we have one hit point. Let's try it one more time. You die. Let's try that again. Game over. Let's launch it again. Uh, fuck. How do I do this? I gotta go to my command prompt here. And I have to run Python space main.py. There's my window. Is it in the recording? Yeah, it's recording again. Let's go. Let's try something different. Yeah, there's our clicky mutated insect. Uh, didn't do so great. Our psychic attack seemed the best we had, and these guys all have a shitty psychic thing, so let's try a pure strain human. But let's be one who's, like, constantly dancing or th threw his hip out. <laughs> He's definitely lunging to one side. Um, let's see if the... I'm assuming it's random, but let's go see if the club is back where we found the club before. Uh, there's a fucking frog snake thing. That looks scary. Looks like it's a weapon of some sort, too, which makes it extra scary. Yeah, awesome music. There's a two-headed Etten guy again. We need to find a fucking weapon. There's something. I saw something. Something. Oh, it's a fucking bug. Can't pick that up. Let's try a psychic attack. To the east. The leech takes 13 damage. Joseph and Christ. Pure strain human is where it's at. Let's try a psychic attacking to the south. It took nine. The slither. He's dead. I'm not noticing, like, our, our psi isn't diminishing. It's not like we have... I, I don't see anything indicating that we have, for instance, um, psychic points. Incidentally, we have more hit points than the last guy did as well, didn't he? Our last guy... Our, this guy has shitty constitution. He has seven. The other guy had 19, and yet we have more hit points. Humanity may be the name of the game here. 
Still looking for a club, even though we don't need one, because our psychic attack is like four clubs taped together and shot from our brain. There's something. Let's psychic attack this guy. P. Let's P to the west. The wor oh, that doesn't work, does it? Oh, it does work. It's a worker bot, and our psychic attack still uh, it, it still had a mental agony. It didn't have like a a memory crash or an, I don't know a circuit fry. It had uh, you see some pill here. Let's get that. It had mental agony. I got another. Oh, I got food food pills. Is that what we want to bring home to our people? I don't think the map is. Oh yeah, it is. As we explore, it's staying. So at least we can get a sense of what we're looking for here. Maybe we can, maybe we can find something, or if we can explore the whole map. I, I psychic him, by the way. Um, then maybe we can um, use. You wield the club. There's a fucking green basketball. Uh, a fission orb. All right, let's get that. Psychic attack. The raider dies. Get. You pick up the hyperoid. Do we know what any of this does? Like, is there a... Oh, yes, it does. It gives us a textual description at the bottom. A broken tree branch, good for giving someone a whack with. Some food pills, an assortment of large pills. This supplement is everything needed to sustain oneself for a full day. Uh, an assortment of large... Oh, they're both pills. Food pills. I thought one said it was pills, and the other one said it was food pills. Maybe I just misread it. Okay. Uh, a hyperoid. This drug enhances strength for a period. A fission orb. This orb contains superheated plasma, though it is cool to the touch, for all blaster weaponry. So I guess it's ammo, is my guess. Food pills. Will we get hungry? Does it give us health back, do you think? My guess is it's like the equivalent of a health potion. Psychic attack! Oh, that's not a raider. That's a, that's a suris. Suris. Of course, it's got two heads. Like, of course, it's not a raider. I mean, not of course, it's a surus. I have never heard that phrase before in my life. There's a uh, weapon, a dagger. Let's psychic attack first. Pick it up. Find a dagger, pick it up, and all the day I'll have good luck. Um, basic dagger crafted from scrap, from scrap parts, not crap parts, and sharpened along one side. Um, energy cell. Our, um, this is a legitimate question. I, I'm not sure. Are daggers always sharpened on both sides? Like, isn't that part of the def definition of dagger? Am I wrong? Isn't uh, one side just a knife? Technically. I'm going south a lot. I'm not finding the wall. Maybe there is no edge. Maybe I was wrong about what I saw earlier. G, forget. You pick up the pill. That time it said a pill. Not a food pill. Let's look. That's what I thought I saw earlier. Yeah. Alright. An unknown pill. It could be anything. Maybe we identify it after a time. That's why it showed us food pills. We'll check back in later and see if we can tell what it is. It's the equivalent of a potion. Yeah, there is an edge. Here's the map edge. That fucker killed us last time. Stay away from the octopus. Worker bot? Psychic attack. My psychic attacks are just fucking awesome. They're hitting at range. Like, even from that far away. What do I need a dagger for? Fucking Magneto. Oh, Lepus. AKA Zuikus. You see a can of flesh. Mm. <laughs> Let's get that. What does that do? Can we... Oh, maybe we can't. Did say we can't? I can't carry anymore. Okay, let's, let's try eating some food. Oh my god, I have one... Hit. No, 17 hit points. That's how bad my vision's gone. Let's try some food pills and see what happens. I press enter. I meant to press U. You consume the fill bills. Munch, munch. But no, it did not affect our health. Can of flesh? A can of nutrients that promotes the rapid regeneration of skin and flesh. So I'm guessing that's a healing thing. Having eaten the food pills, I'm seeing no sign of, like, a hunger clock or, um... We're in day-night cycle. Like, are we are we good? Can we, can we drop the rest of the food pills? Is this going to be a, a, a game that takes place over the course of a single day? Slither come hither. Oh, I got him, but didn't kill him. 
Let's get this again. Let's um, let's eat one of them. Let's try going to a can of flesh. You. That put us all the way back. Get that one. Psychic attack! Belichi dies. <clears throat> Just locking down the parameters of this perimeter. Uh, parameters of this map, I guess. Oh, I want that. Five does not pass your turn. Just psychically attacking east as much as I can. There we go. Land octopus ain't got nothing on me. I can't carry anymore. It's an antidote. Let's go to our inventory. Let's eat another food pill. Use. Munch, munch. Antidote. Alright, we're at the eastern edge. This is pretty interesting. Um, I would like it better if I had a sense of really, you know, what... A clearer sense of my objective, you know. I, I know it gave us story elements, fine food and technology, but what does that mean? I, I pressed the wrong thing there, by the way. Um, like, is there... Like, if it said, find five food pills and one artifact, and you win, as an example. Then I'd be like, okay, we know what we're doing. But without that, it's very nebulous. I don't know if we're... Are we succeeding here? Are we uh, these never-ending monsters? Are we clearing them out and they're gone for good? Is there a staircase I'm looking for? Am I wandering fruitlessly? Killing leeches and zwikuses? Zwikai? Let's go with Zwikai. I keep seeing these things. Like, doesn't that, doesn't that look like it should be something to you? Look at that too. Interesting. We're, I don't know quite what square we're standing. I, it might just be a background tile. It doesn't really matter. I guess we're not in one of these individual squares. I'm peeing on you, Etten. An, another antidote. Let's get a vector. Whatever the hell this is. Ooh, body armor. Let's get that. Can we? Can we just get it now? Let's. I guess. Fucking. Let's eat a pill. Let's see what happens. Could be anything. You could simulate the pill. Your veins burn with poison. Oh, fuck me. Well, let's do antidote. You consume the antidote. You feel much better. Let's get this. Oh, I'm still. My hit points are still dropping. If that antidote worked, it didn't do much. <laughs> Despite my antidote, my health is still dropping. Um, or at least it was. Let's go to inventory. Let's use the body armor. Yeah, my health is still motherfucking dropping. I don't feel better. Let's go get this antidote. I'm not sure your antidote worked. Hi. You. You consume the antidote. No effect. Well, fuck you. First one had no effect, too. Let's do a can of flesh so we stay in the game. And let's hope that poison dissipates? If not, the moral of the story is do not eat random fucking pills, which, is, P.S., is a good code to live by. We're gonna die. Let's try eating uh, a hyperoid. No. Yeah. Let's try food pills. Maybe it will give us back some health. You die from poison. Alright. We're gonna try that one last time, guys. Only because it hasn't been that long of a recording yet, I don't think. 23 minutes, man. We're getting close. Nonetheless, I'm gonna try one last time. Um... When hit, like, enter or fucking escape or space. Oh, we got a game over that time. That's cool. We can get that the first time. Alright, one last attempt. We're gonna go to Py... Python main.py. Alright, there we are. And let's go. Let's be, um, a fucking Harry. Oh, we look like a Viking. With a... with an erection? I can't see, oh, it's a tail. Like, I literally can't see that graphic. <laughs> it looks like it's facing the same direction his head is. That's why I figure, like, it's front-facing. But I think it's behind and curled around, is my guess. Let's try psychically attacking West. Let's do it again, for shits and giggles. It's looking like the pure strain human is our best bet. 
Like, these guys just can't compete. With the psychic attack, at least. And that's our best attack. Go away, Slither. It's dead, at least. Hyperoid. We're at the western edge here. Oh, fuck, I moved too fast. It's my own fault. We're just psychically attacking. Because we don't have a weapon. We're going to do one damage, I think. Six hit points, man. I need to find a can of flesh. Flesh was the name of um a professional wrestler, like obviously the stage name, I assume. I don't think he was like born his parents like, hey, let's call him flesh. Um he has a weapon at least. Um but I shot a commercial with him years and years ago. It was actually technically the first first major commercial I ever shot, like, as opposed to a, um, as opposed to some, you know, local thing for a local company or whatever, or some, you know, low-budget pile of crap, no offense, low-budget pile of crap commercials. Um, but, uh, food bills, um, that was way, like, that was literally, um, how am I doing this? P. Like, 15 years ago or something like that. Um, and it would have been my very, as I said, very first major commercial, so I was very, very excited at the time as a by no means newcomer. Oh, have we, have we wrapped around? Are we back home? Or is there something we can do here? It's probably like greater than or something in case it's like a, an elevator will take us down into the thing, like like in Day of the Dead. No. Um, is this something to pick up? There's a draft from the wastes being blown inside, okay. Oh, can we get out to the wastes here? Like what? Let's, let's do a help thing. I'll finish my story in a second. Oh, R to wait a turn. Sorry. Um, nothing here. There is a draft from the wastes being blown inside. Let's try use. No way. Anyways, um, obviously the reason I thought of him was can of flesh. As soon as I said can of flesh, for some reason his face popped to mind because his name was Flesh. Um. But as I said, that was that would have been my first ever commercial, and uh, literally the night before it was to air, the night before it was, a, it was a commercial for Chrysler employee pricing event, as I recall. Um, there was a prominent Canadian wrestler named Chris Benoit, who I think his name is Chris Benoit, who murdered his wife and son and her wife and kid, and then killed himself. Um, and don't get me wrong, obviously that's a terrible, that's that's a terrible, terrible. That that's the big tragedy of, of the event that I'm describing, but a subsidiary event was that they they yanked the commercial from the air because they're like, oh shit, it has a wrestler in it. We can't have a wrestler and um, in a commercial when this guy just committed murder. So it was a tragedy for me in that I lost my first big gig. Big-ish gig. Big for me at the time. Um, this guy looks like a boss, doesn't he? And it specifically says, you hear water dripping, you suddenly feel a shiver go up your fur. Do you think this is, like, the boss we have to kill or something? If it is, he's gonna kick our ass. We have six health. And all we have is our psychic attack, really. But, oh, it's a death robot. Ro robot. Robot. That's how they used to say robot back in the day when the word was first invented. Robot. Oh, I, I pressed U and pressed East. And then it hit me for 32 damage. I think it would have killed us anyway, but... I literally walked forward into its waiting arms, or its waiting tripod legs. Um, I think that's it for me, guys. I'm I, I'm curious. I'll be honest. The fact that that guy showed up and it mentioned something about um, you feel a, a chill go up your spine, like it makes me wonder if maybe there's a victory condition of you know kill the kill the big bad. That'd be kind of fun and cool if you're trying to avoid him for the first bit. Although because they move at the same pace as you, it's pretty hard to ditch somebody once they find you. So if we did find him early, I'd be like, well. It's just bad luck you confront him, but I don't know if that's true. For all I know, it's just a 
a monster we met, and he's one of many, you know. Um, I was enjoying it in the sense that I, I, I like the graphics, I like the sound, I like the post-apocalypse environment that, despite saying it's derived from Omega World, will forever, for me, be derived from Gamma World. Um, what I didn't like was not really understanding what I was trying to do. I was just walking around killing things and finding objects, and because of what a seven-day roguelike is, I do not know if there is a further mentor condition. Maybe that's it. Maybe walking around and killing things is all they had time to do in their seven days, and if so, it's a pretty impressive game. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the absence of data as to you know, concretely what we're trying to do, aside from nebulously, I think it told us in there, um, there's, no, there's nothing written in there, read me. Uh, nebulously, we know we're looking for food and artifacts, but we found food, and we found artifacts, and it didn't like end the game, so... Oh, here we go, never mind. Interesting. This game is written almost completely from scratch. Is it a success or a failure, is what he writes. The game mechanics is virtually complete, but there is no victory condition. There you go. And the game never got final balancing or the fun random mutations, so play at your own risk. I wouldn't, I'd say risk is a harsh word. An expanding version completing the original vision may be released in future. If so, I have not found it. I'll do, I'll do a search. Maybe it's out there. Um, one of the things with the Archive RL is that when he collects seven-day roguelikes, for instance, he likes to... he puts them in an the XDRL folder, and he seems quite adamant about including the seven-day roguelike version. Um, maybe he puts expanded versions elsewhere that I'm unaware of, but um, mostly if I found an XDRL in the Archive RL, it is the seven DRL version. That's a lot of RLs. Um... So perhaps this is out there. I'll, I will I will do a search right, immediately after finishing this recording. I'll do a quick search to see if I can find a more modern version um, that has a victory condition. Without a victory condition, I mean, for me, it's almost always a. There's, it's very hard for me to stay engaged with the game. If you're if you know for sure you don't have a victory condition, then I prefer a score. Then you have something to compete against. But right here, there's there's literally no metric to use. You can't get off this level, so you can't count that. It doesn't tell you how many monsters you killed. So I guess you can write down with a pencil and paper, hey, you killed X monsters, but. That's a lot of extra work for for a little game, so I, I would I, I miss I miss a victory condition. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll I'll tell you where to find it in the archive RL for now, and um, if I find elsewise, I will play that and give you a link to that. And yeah, let me know if you're playing it. Let me know if you're having fun with it. The end of the recording is is.